Hey guys, how's it going? Isabella here from Aquazone Aquarium Services. And today we're gonna talk about tannins. What are tannins? What they do in your aquarium? What they're good for? What fish can live in tannic water? And what are the cons of having tannins in your aquarium? So let's begin with the beginning. What are tannins? Tannins is the byproduct of decomposing plant organics, meaning it's basically the colored water that comes out of decomposing leaves, bark, trees, branches, any of those will create tannins. Tannins come from the word tannic acid, which is the acid that lowers the pH once the tannins are released. And lowering the pH can be a beneficial thing if it's for fish that are endemic from regions that the pH is naturally lower from the tannins in the water. Many fish will benefit from having tannins in their water because these tannins actually have an antimicrobial and antifungal properties, which is very good at keeping your fish healthy. Did you know that many fish actually require tannins in the water to thrive? Because they come from regions where the pH is lower. And if the pH is too high in your fish tank, this fish will develop issues such as fungal issues. A good example of this is the betta fish. If a betta fish is kept in hard water, oftentimes it will have fin rot and fungal issues and will die prematurely. That's why aquarists like to put catapa leaves in their fish tanks that contain bettas. Many other Amazonian fish, for instance, also enjoy the presence of tannins in the water, not only for the health benefits, but also to bring out their vibrant colors, because when the water is slightly darker, the colors of their fish, for example, Cardinal Tetris, will be ever so more luminous in the water and will reflect the light way more. And since we're speaking of the Cardinal Tetris, Let's talk about a fish that absolutely loves dark tannic water. Despite the way that most people like to keep discus fish, discus fish do not like to be in the bare bottom fish tank under a very bright light. No, discus come from areas of murky tannic water. And when you give them the proper environment, these discus fish are way more relaxed and eager to come out to see you than if they were in bright lights and bare bottoms. So if you want to make your discus happy, I suggest creating them a black water setup. Yes, of course, most people find that brown or yellowish tinted water looks like pee pee, obviously, I get it. But for the benefits of the fish you're keeping, the ultimate goal is to replicate their natural environment so that you will be a successful fish keeper. So what qualifies as good tannins to add to your aquarium? Well, you could add elder cones, you could add catapa leaves, you could add oak leaves, you can add bark and wood out of hardwood trees, meaning no cedars or pines or sprouses. You cannot use these because they contain oils in them and they're not good for creating black water. Only use hard wood trees. Also you can use magnolia leaves, bay leaves which are readily available even at the grocery store. By the way bay leaves, excellent antimicrobial and antifungal properties on these. You can use also coconut husk and last but not least you can use rubius tea. Rubius tea is a non-caffeinated tea from Africa and you can just simmer it a little bit and put in the tea colored byproduct into your fish tank also a very very good and healthy addition to your black water fish tank but you must know that your black water fishing doesn't have to be black water all the way you can just have a little bit of tannins because if you make only black water it might be too dark to grow plants the ultimate goal is to have a good balance of plants and tannins in the fish tank because with just the right amount of tannins in your fish tank it also has beneficial properties for your plants 
your plants will absorb all the nutrients from your tannins or your decomposing wood and leaves and absorb it into themselves. It's a sort of recycling mechanism. What is dead will turn back to life. But you must know that certain fish will not necessarily benefit from tannins in the water. Mind you, just a little bit will not hurt any fish. But fish such as African cichlids that come from very hard water lakes do not necessarily need tannins. But naturally, in these lakes, they obviously have some leaves and some wood that falls in. So in very minimal quantities, that also is an acceptable addition to your African cichlid aquarium. Now, let's say you kind of overdid it on the tannins and you'd like your water to be a little bit less dark. Well, there's two ways of getting rid of tannins. The easiest way is to do a water chip. But if your water is still pretty good, you can just simply add some carbon inside your filter and the carbon will absorb any tint of the water. So that's a very easy thing to do. On a side note, if you're ever dosing your plants with a plant fertilizer, keep in mind that your carbon is going to absorb that plant fertilizer before it ever gets to your plants. So same as the tannins, carbon absorbs anything in the water column, except bacteria and things like that. It, it simply removes um, the stink and the coloration of the water. One last thing you must know about tannins, and it's on the plus side. Tannins actually promote healthy bacteria and microorganisms in your fish tank, making it a healthier overall ecosystem. These little microorganisms are going to start decomposing your organic tannins, but also they will transform fish poop into fertilizer and so on. So it creates a very healthy living bacteria and microorganism um, structure inside your fish tank for an optimal biology of the environment you're trying to keep. And it will prevent you from doing excessive water changes and mechanical filtration given that if you overstock your tank clearly you'll need to do these two very much so but i'm talking about a healthy well-sustained fish tank will be even better in the presence of tannins so on that guys i hope you enjoyed the video if you have any comments share them underneath uh tell me what your experience with tannins was share maybe videos uh, of your tannic water aquariums with me if you're not already subscribed, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next video. Have a wonderful day. Bye bye.